This presentation is just an introduction to some electrical troubleshooting content, concepts that you're going to use in diagnosing air conditioning electrical systems. Okay. First thing you can do is, uh, is uh, check across all components with an ohm meter. Basically what we're looking for is we're looking for um, opens. Okay, so what you do is you shut off the power and isolate. When you're checking across the closed switch, resistance should be zero. A resistance reading means the contacts aren't clean. When checking across a load, you want to have a resistance reading of some number. With a load, a zero or an OL or infinite means the load is shorted or open. When you check across a switch with a voltmeter, we're looking for source voltage or zero. When checking a switch, the reading will be source voltage when open and zero when applied. And again, this is pretty important to remember. Voltage reading across an open switch is source. Voltage readings across a closed switch is zero. So again, we take our meter and we use the hopscotch method that we've already talked about. We put one lead on neutral. We start off at point one. We have between point one and neutral, we have 115 volts. Between point two and neutral, I have 115 volts. Between point three and neutral, I have 115 volts. Four and neutral, I have 115 volts because we're going across the load, so that's all good. Five and neutral, I have 115 volts. Now, six and neutral, I have zero volts. My next step would be to take a meter to move this lead from neutral and put it on 0.5. My voltage across that open switch would be 115 volts. If you check across a load with a voltmeter, a, zero, a reading of zero indicates no voltage to the load. So you have to find out from the supply side why you're not getting voltage. A source reading indicates that the supply is good and the load is bad. Before replacing anything, always make sure and check that the connections to the source and make sure the connections are good. So again, if I take my meter and I read 115 volts across the light bulb, Okay, and the light bulb isn't on, replace the light bulb. Same thing with a motor. If you read proper voltage across a motor and the motor isn't running, replace the motor. But again, always check and make sure the connections are good. So again, the hopscotch method with an ohm meter, one lead must be on the L2 terminal, but you have to make sure all power is off. The other one moves through the circuit starting at L1. There should be resistance readings all the way through. If not, there's a break in the circuit or an open switch. Okay, if you get zero ohms, okay, any place in this circuit, a true reading of zero, you'll also know you have a short circuit that's probably causing problems like blowing breakers and stuff. If an ohm reading starts after a load, isolate it and take a ohm reading across it before replacing it. Hopscotch measured with a voltmeter with power on carefully move one lead onto the L2 terminal and the other one through the circuit starting at L1. If there's source voltage to the incoming side of the switch but nothing coming out of the switch, that switch is either open or bad. And by the way, I mean with switches, I mean could also mean contacts or anything or pressure switches, anything that is going to control the flow of current. If there's voltage going into a load, and the load isn't working, the load is bad. So again, you're coming down here, one lead is on neutral, one, two, three, four, five, working into the circuit, you all have, you go to the load side of the thermostat, you get zero volts, okay, you know you had voltage coming into the switch, you know you don't have voltage coming out of the switch, so you have to find out why you don't have voltage, okay? So with a thermostat, the thermostat could be bad, could have bad contacts, or it hasn't reached the proper set point te temperature of the space it's trying to control. Okay, again, across a load, okay, voltage across a load, if you come down here and go from seven, which is on the line side of the load, to one, which is on the neutral side of the load, or neutral, and then you don't get power, 
Come down here and take another voltage reading. Move the move it right across the load. Okay, you'll see that there's an open circuit. Again, voltage across an open circuit is always going to be source. Okay, but so is voltage across a load. So you have to find out why you're not getting voltage to the load. And the easiest way to do this is just with your meter. If all you know you have a wire and you're getting it before it and not there, you know that the wire's broken someplace. Replace the wire. So again, vol things to remember for electrical troubleshooting, use the hopscotch method. Most times you're gonna be doing this with the, with the circuit energized. Second of all, zero voltage across an open switch is zero voltage across a closed switch or sorry voltage across an open switch is going to be source voltage across an closed switch is zero resistance across an open switch is infinite resistance across a closed switch is going to be zero